Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm Jason and Chrissy. From As One Guidance. We are Twin Flames in Harmonious Twin Flame Union. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and how did we get there? We changed. Changed from what? From a uh, fear-based thinking mindset. What do you mean by that? I mean that we did the inner work to... What's a fear-based thinking mindset? Oh my goodness. What, do you, what is it? What do you mean? <laughs> okay. Well, like, if you uh, firmly believe that you um, can't be with your twin flame, oh, or uh, you can't be loved or have love, or you can't experience love, or that your twin flame won't love you, or that they aren't loving you, or that your twin flame will never leave their life and change, your twin flame won't change. Fear based or not fear based? Fear based. All right. 100%. And so, you how do you change it. that? You change that by doing the mirror exercise and healing anything that arises within you that is out of alignment with love. What does that do to you? It changes you. Oh. And therefore, what? Manifest your twin flame union. Does your twin flame change? Yes, of course. How? Because you're one. They're not doing anything. <laughs> it's like, How are they going to change? Because you're one. So you're one consciousness, y'all. Like you and your twin flame are one consciousness. You have been created together by God as one consciousness. You have the male consciousness and the female consciousness. So you're like chained together. You're bound. You're bound. You're by chains. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you're one consciousness. You're bound but uh in one consciousness. So like yeah. therefore for eternity. The there's only how many choices? Awesome. Are? Is there like there's only one core choice in one consciousness? How does that work? There's only one core choice and one consciousness. Yeah. What do you, I don't understand the question. Well, like I, if I make a core choice, yeah. can you make a different core choice? No. Nope. Why? Because we're one, so you choose as one. Okay. But what, what if uh, your choice, you, you, you put more intention behind your choice? <laughs> so difficult for me i don't know why well it, no the person who chooses at the core the person who's making the highest uh the choice that is in alignment with god the okay the highest vibrational choice wins oh uh, very interesting yeah so the higher vibrational choice which is uh harmonious union yes right yes. then if if you're making that and I'm mm -hmm. seemingly not making that, right? Mm -hmm. um, your choice wins because it's higher vibration. Yeah, so I make the choice for harmonious. What union. happens to me and my choice of, of, you know, seemingly not making that choice? Well, if you are my twin flame and you were to explain to me behavior, which communicates that you're not making the same choice as me, then I would naturally have something to move through there and heal. Okay. So like, say I, I'm choosing perfect union with God. Okay. Right. And say that you're only, you're choosing harmonious union with God. They're different, right? There's harmonious union with God. And then there's perfect union with God. Jason and I are, are working on our perfect union. Sure. Perfect alignment, meaning we have no upsets. We're in complete and total alignment with love. There's sequence. And there, there's a sequence. There's like, you know, there's a, there's a, there's levels. And so like, say I'm, I'm choosing perfect union with God. And for some reason, you're not choosing perfect union with God. You want to hang out harmonious union, right? Okay. I would be upset with that because like that wouldn't feel right in my heart. It wouldn't, it wouldn't align with my core choice of perfect union. Sure. You're not, my choice wouldn't be to evolve. Right. It would be to stay stagnant 
and right. then you would essentially lose you, you can't keep what you have if you're just staying stagnant correct you kind of lose that. you lose it because you're not choosing to expand it so then you're like dying essentially if you're not mm -hmm. expanding right so like uh i would move through the mirror exercise with that and i would i would look at really how i felt like like Jason's not, or it would be for me, like Jason's upsetting me because he's not choosing to change. He's not choosing to evolve. He's not choosing to expand. Okay. And then I would take that to step two. And step two would be what? I'm upsetting myself because I'm not choosing to expand. Oh, so it doesn't have to do with me. No, no I never has. Uh, no, no see? it's mine. I always told you it was your fault. You never <laughs> Yeah. So then I would, I would have to say, is that true? Is there any part of me that's not choosing to expand? That's choosing to the stagnant that wants to die. And you have to look in there and, and find out if that's true. Yeah, you, and essentially you, it's you, always you true. Do your own introspection to see mm -hmm. like where, because your consciousness is very vast. And so um, you're not always aware of all the things in it or all mm -hmm. the things that uh, could be hiding uh, that need some, you know, uh, sorting through so that you could find where uh, within yourself that this is occurring so that you can mm -hmm. love, yourself. love yourself. So like you want to go through uh, and say, yeah, this is, a, this is happening to me here. It's happening to me in my life in this space. I'm not choosing to take responsibility. I'm not choosing to change. And I really desire to change here. And I'm simply not choosing it. So that's where you would go into step four of the mirror exercise. Visualize that part of you unwilling to change, unwilling to move forward, and simply love yourself uh, into peace there. And when you feel completely peace with that part of yourself, they integrate into who you are today. And you come into a place of relief when you like release all the resistance associated with your choice. And then you'll come into a place of peace with your twin flame, regardless of their behavior or actions. Mm -hmm. Right. Because mm -hmm. it's always a relationship with God. And it starts with God, you, then your twin flame. Mm -hmm. And so it's always between you and God. It's a relationship with God. And so the, mm -hmm. the whole point of it is to find peace within yourself, mm -hmm. not to change the outcome outside of yourself, to be like, oh, I'm in a mirror exercise, then go go look to see what my twin flame is doing. Oh, nothing changed. This doesn't work. I quit. It's to uh, do the work within yourself yeah. to find peace and things will change uh, as they are healed. Yeah, and we heal because we desire to be closer to God. We heal because we desire to have peace within our heart. And not suffer. And not suffer. It has nothing to do with an external result. That external result is a manifestation of your inner state. And so if you're doing the work for the specific purpose of getting something, then you're not really truly aligned into the purpose of the inner work. And so the inner work is always about more peace, more God, more love you. within you, within your inner state, within your life. And as you continue to choose that, and as you continue to cultivate that within, you'll naturally begin seeing that manifest in your external life. Your, your external life will change because you create in your reality. Only you create in your reality. And so as you make these choices and you align into to peace, when you align into God, you will then um, manifest and change your life. And still get all the things that you want. All the things. All the things. Yeah. Where it starts from within. Mm -hmm. when within you we're done with this yeah it feels good okay i'll see you next time guys see you bye